Hello and welcome to Strive Defence Dialogue. I am your host, Brigadier Rakesh Bhatia. Today we have requested our senior vice president of our think tank Strive, Mayor General Ajay Chaturvedi, to be our guest. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, sir. Today we want your thoughts on Indo-US relations. Now, if we really look at what is happening in recent years you don't come to know ki ye hindustan aur america kya ye natural allies hain kya aaj ke din mein inke itne sare military deals ho rahi hain to kya ye military partner ban chuke hain ya ye abhi bhi competitors hain jo ek pentagon hai jo ki military ko कंट्रोल करता है और हेड क्वार्टर है वो चाहता है कि इंडिया के साथ ज्यादा ज्यादा डिफेंस डील हो हम क्वाड के मेंबर हैं हमारे को वेपन्स दिए जा रहे हैं वेरी रिसेंटली वी हैव गॉट एमक्यू 9 वी हैव गॉट लेकिन स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट साथ-साथ पन्नू का केस भी उठाता है तो ये किस तरह की स्ट्रेटजी है इससे पहले कि मैं आपको इनवाइट करूं मैं कुछ थिंक टैंक्स और जो प्रोमिनेंट न्यूज़पेपर्स हैं अमेरिका के उनकी कुछ हेडलाइंस दिखाना चाहता हूं इंडिया एंड यूएस मिलिट्री अलाइज और इकोनॉमिक एडवर्सरीज क्या यूएस सही में यह सोचता है कि इंडिया के पास इतना पोटेंशियल है कि इवेंचुअली हम उसको एक इकोनॉमिकली हम उसको टक्कर दे सकते हैं New World Bank report says India better position to navigate global headwinds headwinds than other major emerging economies. Economist कहता है America's new best friend why India is indispensable कि India के बिना USA इस खिरते में इस region में कुछ नहीं कर सकता. Time magazine कहती है India is not a US ally and has never wanted to be. वो कह रहा है India खुद ही नहीं चाहता है कि वो हमारा ally बने. और एटलांटिक की एक बड़ी डिटेल रिपोर्ट है जिसमें वो कहता है कि व्हाट लिमिट्स एनी यूएस अलायंस विद इंडिया ओवर चाइना बिकॉज़ हम ये समझते हैं कि यूएस हमारे साथ डिफेंस एग्रीमेंट पार्टनरशिप जो कर रहा है दिस इज बेसिकली अगेंस्ट चाइना इवेंचुअली सर हम बात करेंगे कि व्हाई हैज ही सेलेक्टेड इंडिया टू बी अ बुलवर्क अगेंस्ट चाइना सर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू इज व्हाट इज द प्राइमरी मोटिवेशन बिहाइंड यूएस एक्टिवली कोटिंग इंडिया राकेश आपने जो दो एक कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी चीज बताई है वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है एक्चुअली एक आपको याद होगा रिसेंटली एक उनका एक शिप आया था हमारे ईईजेड में पॉल नेसन और समथिंग ऐसा कुछ नाम था उसका और उसने अनक्लोज के जो रूल्स थे उनको धता बता करके वो कहता है कि जी हम तो हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर नॉटिकल माइल्स आपसे दूर हैं आपके मेन लैंड से तो इट डजेंट मैटर एंड वो लक्षदीप से के वेस्ट से वो जा रहा था नाउ दैट वाज अ क्लियर कट वायलेशन ऑफ जो हमारे ईईजेड का जो एज पर अनक्लोज एग्रीमेंट है यूएन के जो लॉज हैं जी अभी ये जो ये जो एटीट्यूड है ये अमेरिका का एटीट्यूड दिखाता है ऑन वन साइड कि जी हम तो भाई ऑल पावरफुल हैं हम जो चाहे कर सकते हैं तो rules or no rules we will do what we consider appropriate now Correct. this is one side of the story now second side jo aapne pentagon versus state department ki kahi hai aur teesra jo aapne times ko quote kiya hai teen Correct. alag alag cheeze hain and let me just give my thought on each one of them now aapki intelligence mein ek technique hoti hai jeff and mutt technique correct sir Pentagon versus State Department exactly that is what goes on. Hmm. State Department has gives a kind of a you can say, वो चाइना से बिल्कुल totally cut off नहीं करना चाहते because that is typical typical diplomacy that you can't close all doors. So yes. if you recall when Modi was going to US last year in June, just before that Blinken went to China. Yes. इसके पहले अच्छा दूसरा जो यूएस में एक और जो बड़ी चीज है वो है डेमोक्रेटिक वर्सेस रिपब्लिकन के थॉट प्रोसेस रिपब्लिकन मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज बेसिकली उनका इकोनॉमिक से रिलेटेड ज्यादा होता है 
और ये कहीं ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन रिलीजियस फ्रीडम एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स डेमोक्रेट्स देख इनकी बहुत सारी बातें करते हैं सो so, ये जो अपने इंटरनल लॉबी है स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट उसको भी देखती है कि चाहे कमीशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल रिलीजियस फ्रीडम की बात कर रहे हो या ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन की बात कर रहे हो इंडिया के अगेंस्ट ये चीजें वो कोर्ट करते रहते हैं जो पेंटागॉन है उसने 1922 में 2022 में एक आपके साथ ट्रीटमेंट किया था कि इंडियन जर्नल्स इंडियन ऑफिशियल्स कैन ट्रैवल इन टू गो इन टू पेंटागॉन अनस्कॉटेड करेक्ट नाउ दैट यूएस एयरफोर्स जनरल टोल्ड अवर एयर चीफ कि भाई साहब हम नहीं जा सकते so yeah. that is what pentagon thinks about india yeah. now as far as this thing time that is well let me just put things in perspective then i'll explain the reasons now as far as time is concerned they think they they talk of real politics hard politics why they say national interests are permanent not friends correct so दे रियलाइज इंडिया इज अपनी स्ट्रेटेजिक ऑटोनोमी हमेशा मेंटेन रखेगा दे के नॉट बी बिकॉज राइट फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन इट सेल्फ वेन ट्रूमन वॉन्टेड इंडिया टू बिकम ज्वाइन दम देर गैंग एंड वेन इंडिया ट्राई टू बिकम नॉन अलाइन दैन जॉन फॉसर फेमसली सेट इट इज इमोरल तो वहां से शुरू होता है कि भाई तुम हमारे साथ रहो तो ठीक है नहीं तो नहीं है हमारे साथ नहीं हो आप देखिए तीसरा जो मैंने इस इसमें जो इस संदर्भ में एक और चीज में बताना चाहता हूं आप देखिए जब ओबामा ओबामा क्या मेंटेन ब्राउन अमेंडमेंट लाता है इधर इंडिया को सपोर्ट करता है करेक्ट करेक्ट 2005 में वो आपको स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर नॉन नेटो देता है उसको नॉन नेटो पार्टनर बना लेता है Correct. उसको एफ सिक्सटीन देता है और आपके यहाँ आता है वो हाँ. तो ये चीजें जो है तब आपको ये जो चीजें है वो दे मेंटेन अ पैरिटी बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान देयर इंटरेस्ट इन पाकिस्तान इज एसेंशियली इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ लिस्टिंग पोस्ट टू चाइना सो वो चाइना के साथ वो उनका और दूसरा पाकिस्तान हैज गॉट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जियो स्ट्रेटेजिक लोकेशन चाइना अफगानिस्तान एंड रशिया थ्रू से सेंट्रल एशियन रीजन so they cannot jettison pakistan after all jawari ko jab unhone thoka ya obama ko thoka pakistan government was always on board yes. and that is how they could do what they could do but india they cannot do because following reasons a economic reasons aaj bhi dekhiye india unka sabse bada partner india ka yes. jo sabse bada partner hai us unka seventh largest partner hai 128 billion dollars ka hamara jo plus 0.42 or something is the trade between two and though adverse but almost 50 billion dollars ka wo import india mein export india mein kar rahe hain so economic interest unke hain they also realize the size of the market of india so they cannot do without india's market because after all how long will the, will their economy survive only on arms and ammunition it has got a limit they tried to create war in ukraine after all it is reaching the dead end yeah. hamas idf reaching a dead end and it is becoming out of their control so therefore economics ke other areas and they also realize other areas to be explored and they also realize the the frugal technologies in which we work yes say so after all our cost of taking chandrayaan or before that mangalyan was much lesser than what nasa nasa does and that's why the the that uh, they they have uh, gone for now remote uh, satellites hmm. 24 mein hum india ke sath launch kar rahe hain artemis t- uh, agreement hamare sath kiya unhone icet agreement hamare sath kiya hmm. micron ko hamare yahan lane ki koshish kar rahe hain because they want uh, to supply to... chain ki baat ho rahi supply chain supply ki baat chain. ho rahi so therefore they cannot do so now जो इंडिया और मतलब ये उम्मीद करना नेचुरल एलाइज बिकॉज वी आर अ डेमोक्रेसी एग्री वी आर ऑल्सो डेमोक्रेसी अगर इसी इसी बात पे करते हैं तो वी वर डेमोक्रेसी प्रायर टू 
करेक्शन टू थाउजेंड ऑल्सो टू थाउजेंड फाइव सिक्स से पहले भी बट वी आर अस्ट्रेंज डेमोक्रेसी बिकॉज हमारी हमारे तो ये उसको पैकेज करता है एक्चुअली क्या है कि उनका क्या था कि जब उनको लगा जब कोल्ड वॉर चल रही थी सो दे सडनली रियलाइज दैट दे वॉन्टेड टू लोअर द लाइन ऑफ सोवियत यूनियन अर्स्ट वाइल सोवियत यूनियन सो उसके लिए उनको दे वॉन्टेड टू बिल्डअप चाइना एंड दैट इज वाई इन सेवेंटीज जो किसिंजर निक्सन टीम थी दे ट्राई टू अप्रोच चाइना एंड फॉर दैट कंड्यूट वॉर पाकिस्तान Correct. Pakistan, in fact, uh, facilitated that uh, trip of uh, uh, famous uh, he had fallen, China. The messenger had fallen uh, sick, and uh, then he moved to in the PIA planes. Yes. So therefore, this is this is what they wanted China. So China was in their say strategic say matrix. Me, China was very important. They started building. Little did they realize that China, at some some point of time, instead of becoming a collaborator, started becoming competitor. Sir, यहाँ मेरा एक आपसे सवाल है सर, क्या हाँ. India के बारे में भी उनके यही doubt हैं कि एक time ऐसा actually, आएगा कि India yeah. will become such a big uh, economy because actually if you look at this, आज की date में majority of our diaspora, the intelligent people export is maximum from India. Whether you take the World Bank president as Ajit Banga or you take Rishi Sonak or you take Sundar Pichai, we have the talent. Satya Nadella. Satya Nadella. And and I'll tell you a very interesting stats. The average, the revenue generated by an American is sixty three thousand dollars per year. A Chinese contributes sixty-five thousand dollars per year to the revenue, and Correct. Indian that PIO in US contributes one lakh dollars. So therefore, so the economically also Indians have started becoming relevant and important, and so this, this diaspora is becoming very very strong and Correct. important. So now the thing is, you know, after all. Why you you just again one must always learn from history, you know. When when Americans denied this, you uh, will remember that the cryogenic engines, yes, the cryogenic engines and supercomputers. When they denied us, we made both of them. Now, Indian, the American industry said, "Oh, brother, they didn't keep them. So, this is our question of daily life. So, therefore, they do realize that Indian economy is very very important. 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 and our education system english speaking higher education uh, our higher education especially our iims are... so that is that is the reason but then actually unka kya hai ki they also realize ki bhai if they want to maintain the uh, supremacy in the world they cannot allow india to grow as they allowed in past china to grow correct that's, that's right reason, well, china has suddenly has uh, given them a jolt Today Actually, the sir, situation is that China without China, unki economy nahi sir. So while Pentagon wants to deal with India, now I am coming to the part of the question. If I may sum up, sir, basically Pentagon wants to deal with you because of China, sir. Yes. And the State Department is slightly scared that it should not happen that tomorrow, like China, India also starts giving them a global competition, sir. Is it correct assessment, sir? Ah, and then in this case, you know the recent events, like yes, sir. 2018 Triumph S400, S400 when India purchased from uh, alongside India, Turkey and China also purchased. Correct. We have sanctioned them. India, Trump didn't. I mean, uh, say uh, Obama didn't sanction India because they had no choice because they can't do without India. Similarly, this one from Russia, sir. Russia. Similarly, when oil we purchased recently, cheaper oil from Russia, correct. Americans did not uh, sanction us, or for that matter, they should have sanctioned us. So they also realized that right now, I mean, let us put in simplistic terms that China, if a US cannot antagonize China and India simultaneously. उटर छोड़ा 
that if someone thinks that our destiny is with us no sorry yes. pannu cis uh, just uh, that commission of international relation religious Correct. freedom or uh, 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 things like uh, uh, human Sir, rights inke, violation they will keep in the magazine especially time or new york times mein agar aap dekhenge sir to ye to ek puri anti india lobby hai sir wahan pe there are narratives being created howard 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 yes sir howard mein this woke 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 culture acha by the way isme the ek aur part jo jo maine bola tha uh, now i'll explain it you know the the difference between approach of a republican president and a democratic president now if you notice beat clinton beat uh, 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 this uh, obama they had their own views about india and they did not uh, uh, give you as much as uh, say starting with eisenhower to trump Correct. with jr jw bush in between the kind of support they provided yes none of the other uh, democratic presidents have given Correct. except uh, kennedy but that is kennedy's situation was different mm-hmm. because suddenly they started feeling that in, they they never wanted india uh, to fail they couldn't i mean that time in 1960 they could not allow india to fail so that's why kennedy supported india but lyndon johnson maintained that distance so that is what i am saying is america has its own interest ours has our own interest mm-hmm. we have to find a kind of a same mix so yes. like imec imec mm-hmm. they are supporting us yeah. biofuel alliance they are supporting us mm-hmm. uh, uh, solar alliance they are supporting us usa they are supporting us so these are the things in which we can collaborate sir, so we must partially say, partially we can say sorry sir partially we can also huh? say that india is also paying back in the same coin हम ब्रिक्स के भी सर जो एंटी वेस्ट है हम ब्रिक्स के मेंबर हैं सर बिल्कुल ब्रिक्स के हैं है, हम है। ईरान से तेल ले रहे हैं आपने जैसे कहा रशिया से ले रहे हैं हम क्रूड ऑयल को प्रोसेस करके यूरोपियन कंट्रीज को भी बेच रहे हैं कंट्रीज को दे रहे हैं तो यूरोप भी छुप है यूरोप भी छुप है उनके पास उतनी रिफाइनिंग कैपेसिटी नहीं है तो सर क्या ये सही है सर की एक एक आम धारणा है एंड आई थिंक अगेन इट इज बींग क्रिएटेड basically what are we looking at uh, or any country is looking at usa is looking for economy for defense and for international relations ke andar aapki ek aapka uh, uh, global police wala jo hai wo aapka dost hai sir this is basically the three things and technology. we are looking at. And, and, of course and technology. technology i mentioned technology yes sir and ye kaha jata hai ki agar aapka us dost nahi hai to you can never be because like you say sir russia has got everything natural resources manpower uh, good geography everything but economically agar aap dekhe to russia is not uh, as strong as uh, us so, demographic dividend nahi hai russia ka sabse badi problem hai demographic dividend nahi hai correct to kya ye sahi ye manna sahi hai sir ki us ke sath aap agar nahi cooperate karte hain to economically you cannot become uh, you cannot dominate the world ek aur cheez hai rakesh ek economy yes and one more thing you know they will by all these jo organizations hain jo calculated leak chhodte rehte hain chahe pannu type ya religious freedom type ya human rights violation type is sab ko karke आप देखिए आपने 317 जो किया इसको नल एंड वॉइड किया अमेरिका एकदम चुप रहा कुछ नहीं बोला उसने yes. आपको कुछ चीजें चाहिए जिसमें आपका अमेरिकन सपोर्ट बहुत नेसेसरी है जैसे एनएसजी न्यूक्लियर डोमेन में आपने सीटीपीटी साइन नहीं किया आपने एनपीटी साइन नहीं किया यट उसने आपको एक बार दिया और अभी भी तो इट्स दैट टेक्नोलॉजी आपको चाहिए चाहिए अच्छा दूसरा जो चाइना से अगर वो निकालेगा तो वो आपको बीच में झटका देता जाता है कि इंडोनेशिया में फैक्ट्री चली गई ए, कहीं ताइवान से निकल कर वियतनाम में चली गई तो आपको आपको उनका सपोर्ट चाहिए ही चाहिए इन चीजों के लिए सो दे फोर एज ए से इन डिप्लोमेसी दे आर नो एब्सोल्यूट यू शुड work on your national interest without losing your strategic autonomy but you should not be moralistic 
जो फिफ्टीज में हमारी एक सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम थी हम मॉरलिस्टिक हो जाते थे कि नहीं भाई ये होना चाहिए थर्टी एट पैरल पहले तो हमने नॉर्थ कोरिया और चाइना को गाली दी और उसके बाद जब वो थर्टी एट पैरल क्रॉस करने लगे अमेरिकन तो कहा नहीं जी नहीं तो तुम कोई चौधरी तो हो नहीं तो वी हैव टू फॉलो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग सर विल गो हैिटरी डोमेन सर सर अगर ये एक आम तौर पे हम जो मैप से फेमिलियर हैं दिस इज द मैप जो कि आम यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स की लोकेशन और चाइना की लोकेशन जो दिख रही है लेकिन कई बार क्या होता है वी डोंट रियलाइज दैट दिस इज अ फ्लैट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ अगर हम इसको ग्लोब yes. तो रशियन फेडरेशन और अलास्का जो है द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू कंट्रीज दे शेयर ए मेरी टाइम बॉर्डर और इनके बीच में जो डिस्टेंस मैंने आज गूगल अर्थ पे कैलकुलेट किया है जो आइलैंड्स के डिस्टेंसेस हैं दैट इज 3750 मीटर्स लेस देन 4 किलोमीटर्स जस्ट इमेजिन दैट बेरिंग बेरिंग स्ट्रीट पे यस नॉट सिमिलरली इफ वी सी साउथ रशियन फेडरेशन के साउथ में चाइना है और अगर पैसिफिक के थ्रू चाइना uh, पहुंचता है साउथ चाइना सी में जो कि अभी सबसे बड़ा डिसीजन पॉइंट साउथ चाइना सी में है तो दिस इज द मैप विच इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट फ्रॉम देयर मेनलैंड आइलैंड लाइक हवाई फ्रॉम देयर बेसिस एट गोवाम ओकिनावा टोक्यो सेंडेगो हाउ मच टाइम इट इज गोइंग टू टेक अब ये तो हो गया सर मेरी टाइम एज फार एज लैंड बॉर्डर इज कंसर्न तो सिर्फ इंडिया है इंडियन ओशन में उनकी एनर्जी आने के लिए है तो इंडिया है So, क्या ये एक बहुत बड़ा लिवरेज है हमारे हाथ में एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली जस्ट जस्ट लुक एट इट नाउ इफ यू दे हैव टू ट्रेवल नाउ यूएस द वेर वॉट आर दिन एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन एरिया मिडल ईस्ट so middle east if it has to go it has to say circumvent india and go through malacca, malacca. so while going through malacca they have to go through this 10 degree channel 6 uh, degree yes. channel which is south of great nicobar island yes and from there it goes to malacca strait chinese effort of circumventing that that hu jintao's famous malacca dilemma to circumvent that he tried to go to gwadar because of the baluchistan and gilgit baltistan it is in the no, on the boy kuch nahi ho sakta then you further go he tried to create the craft estamus in uh, south of thailand correct so far nothing has worked so sunda and long corridor it's not work sir not cor- so now the only the only area left is malacca strait so malacca correct. strait you sitting in Uh, great nicobar island with a base facility on support available in sabang in indonesia on the other end of the uh, uh, 6g channel now you are dominating this so therefore as far as what china has done they have they have uh, uh, they have tried to come down to south also uh, their bases but india can dominate this 6g channel substantially in conjunction with indonesia so that's why americans want acha then as far as south china sea is concerned if you notice there taiwan strait that makes it very narrow strait hmm, so now correct. with with the south china sea when americans go through but then india ne bhi bahut chalaki se kaam kiya 2000 i think uh, two or something america wanted you to join them in the patrolling in the um, south china sea we refused we said this is uh, no corporate patrolling acha uh, nahi 2013 i think uh, during manmohan singh's time it was it was refused kiya we will not do it so now but then america is scared that in case if something happens to taiwan next would be guam and guam means their main bases and just next is hawaii so therefore and recently and sir recently pacific islands like kiribati and solomon island that they have changed their loyalties yes yes fact, so that's solomon, why americans uh, are no, i think marshall island one of these islands marshall islands marshall, marshall, marshall island 
China has uh, formed its basis. Yes. So that so is the reason in South China Sea, they are also creating the artificial uh, islands. They are, so they are achieving that. that and the second chain island and third chain island, they are already thinking about that. So therefore, it is essential that Americans, they, they India is needed for them. For so in a way, sir, we can, can we, China can we say... 71% energy passes through this. Yes. No, can we say that actually it is only in the interest of US, India can open a two-front war against China? Oh, yes. Why not? So, I mean, our many of the thinkers, they keep threatening us that China and Pakistan together collusion may two, two and a half front. I mean, two, two and a half front, either two fronts or two and a half fronts, if yes. internal situation also talk. Yes, America realizes that in case India is on board, Ah, we can create for China two front war. Correct. Taiwan, Japan, South Korea. That is one line. India. Ah. And Galwan onwards, India has shown that spine that we Correct. can stand up. The only country which has not l listened to the coercion of China is India. And, yes. and we are standing firm on our ground. So yes. that is one of the reasons why Americans cannot do without India in the present situation. So as far as that American military strategy is concerned, and that is why if you notice, Pannu notwithstanding, MQ-9B has come. Yes, it has come. They, 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 Congress has given clearance. And all those uh, naysayers who are saying, nahi, nahi, ji, nahi hai, ek bande ko unhone marne ki ki hai, which is... Haan. There are no proof. They say that yeah, we are examining. But the thing is that MQ-9B has become a reality. Absolutely. And don't worry. Very shortly, we will have that even G414 agreement also getting approval of the US Congress. There's, there's, I have no doubt in my mind. Sir, uh, moving ahead, sir. My next question to you is three big players in this area so continue to be India, China, and with US supporting either China or India. What happens if India and China, for some reasons, they join hands? So how, how does US, you know, control Asia, Asia in that case? And it's a very hypothetical question. So uh, and my I'll next hypothetical question, sir, I will add. I'll add another question, sir. Uh -huh. That will US ever let India and China? Have the reproach mask. Ah, the, 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 I was about to say. Uh, in uh, fact, uh, the, to your question, I was about to raise a question. You have already raised that. No, China, uh, America will never allow that to happen. They would keep creating a situation. Actually, uh, India, China, reproachma is not possible to my mind. Not possible at all. Because China cannot do without extension. India cannot allow excitation to go to China. Both the things are true. There, there, there is a possibility that McMahon line some point in time may uh, get the approval of China as well as not in the G's time, but maybe subsequently some other better, some Deng Xiaoping type, someone comes, then probably we will have a problem, uh, less like, problem. Like Mao, Mao used to say, leave it for future generations to solve. Huh. I think so, Chao Nilai, Chao Nilai used huh, to say but, this. But, but, Excitation they cannot do without. And that is why just to keep that excitation, they'll keep pressurizing India, be it in Nepal, be it now they are trying to have a reproachment with Bhutan. Bangladesh, quit India. You have already seen that some India uh, uh, India out campaign has started by uh, BNP. Then On the lines of Maldives. Uh, uh, Maldives. Maldives is already... Uh, Right now uh, is a matter of great concern to us. So therefore, they keep trying to so that you remain embroiled in your own affairs. Yeah. So China, India, unlikely. US will also keep contributing to this, say, fault line to not to get bridged ever. Because that Mao or Deng Xiaoping thought that um, leave it to a future generation. They will not allow. It is the pot remains boiling. And India is also is now firm that we will not 
say if for three years we have stood uh, three winters we have withstood the ground in Correct. harsh climate of ladakh uh, we can survive there so there is no issue so uh, to your hypothetical question i don't think it will ever happen so we uh, should continue with our in a way if we really look at it isn't it continuation of the non alignment uh, movement in a different in a, in a more aggressive form rather than a moralistic form uh actually i won't call it non alignment but only thing is that india india has uh, because of our economy having improved substantially and uh, uh, also our this atmanirbhar bharat uh, uh, say initiative has started getting certain traction there are certain things we have started getting in missile technology we have made big in roads uh, except engine in aircraft industry also we have started with hmm. so many boeing hmm. coming to india that now that boeing research uh, facility having come micron having come to india so with all those things indian situation is strategic autonomy has improved quite substantially Correct. so therefore to my understanding mm -hmm. not withstanding what america wants us to continue controlling we have to keep them engaged mm. but without losing our strategic autonomy and that will be the way that that was equidistant from soviet union and erstwhile soviet union and us uh, may not be the right when we are we want to engage with us we are engaging with us when we want to engage with russia we are engaging with russia similarly uh, in uh, middle east also we have drawn our red lines that mm -hmm. zero tolerance for any kind of a terrorist activity so we will not go with hamas but we will go with mm -hmm. palestine Correct. so that is how in case if hoti and all we have we have nothing against hoti or we have nothing for them but there in case if you try to disturb the movement of uh, 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 this uh, maritime traffic in uh, uh, in our area of interest we will respond with force and that we are doing so therefore it is not exactly the uh, uh non alignment but definitely a strategic autonomy okay yeah i, th I think that you answered it very well sir sir uh, my last question then we uh, go on to questions from the audience sir. my uh, last question to you is sir that uh, isn't the that geography favors india but it is against china the peninsular yes. india that is yes. jutting out into the indian oceans and that is more the reason that more than one day what you are saying yeah, is I, I'll, I'll just right. complete my question i'll just complete okay. my question sir sir is this is the boon of geography that we have that the very reason that we dominate the sea lanes of uh, communication for as far as china is concerned especially in terms of energy sir that our borders will never get resolved sir, because china wants to keep a leverage in terms of our borders where probably he is already he is gone ahead by taking initiative and roads and tracks and infrastructure has been created just by creating this infrastructure we have gone into a defensive mode but once our infrastructure is in place we will be able to you know uh, match up to them sir your views on this actually as far as maritime domain is concerned without any doubt we have certain uh, uh, say great advantage uh you see uh if you notice firstly the peninsular india is jetting into the indian ocean so that gives us a, a, a domination in the indian ocean further you go east 6 degree channel 10 degree channel duncan's passage all three help us to dominate say uh, bay of bengal as well as andaman sea and yes. by domination this thing you are already trying to put china in a uncomfortable situation for his passage of his maritime traffic so that is why in case in case and that is why indian strategy had been that uh, earlier it was ior and there's iora membership 
Bimstek is all because of all this. So therefore, Indian Ocean Rim uh, Association and all those things, this is helping us. So yes. starting from the Horn of Africa to uh, say Malacca Strait, that's the area we are dominating. That's our area of interest to us. So that is what it is. Once you go into South China Sea, as far as China is concerned, first we'll just keep covering the maritime. Now, firstly, South China Sea is narrow. And in that, there is a hostile powers to China. Correct. Starting with South Korea, uh, starting with Taiwan, South Korea, Philippines, Japan. Yes. They are all antagonistic forces. In, in fact, fact, that's, that's the uh, island chains. One, two, three. Yes. In fact, now uh, people are started talking about five chains also, sir. Five chains. They are taking, now, if they're we, taking if we one chain. In... South, huh. Australia is there for Lombok or uh, that Correct. area. Now, as far as this thing is concerned, India definitely has an uh, advantage. China has a disadvantage. Third thing, because of the climate change, if you notice China's, the complete, their terrain is such that most of their industrial belt is all along the coast. Now, having along the coast, the disadvantage is if the climate change results into global warming, certain about 16% of coastal area of China is going to get submerged. Mm. Now, that will impact their manufacturing basis substantially. So that's a, another disadvantage as a maritime domain is concerned. And all their manufacturing se sectors are along the... Uh, along the coast only. Along the now, coast. as far as north is concerned, yes, they have got certain advantage because the Indian Himalayas are in the formation formative stage. Every year, about say, 2 centimeters, they are rising to their unstable mountains. Whereas China, that Tibetan plateau, is a flat. And it's a strong... So that is a... When they they develop QTR or earlier the road the network and all those things, uh, G5219 uh, uh, and all those things, so they had an advantage. And they took a start earlier also. Whereas Indian start, in, the degree of difficulty for India to construct is is also there. Yeah. Because this Silkiara tunnel collapse or uh, uh, subduction in Uttarakhand and all those things is resulting into all these things. So therefore, we have to use a very innovative civil engineering technology to build, continue building our infrastructure. We are moving very fast and I'm sure it is another, say, five, six years we will be able to catch up. Now, third dimension, which is very, very important, which we miss, air dimension. Now, yes. as yes. far as military capability is concerned, taking off from starting with, say, Gorakhpur, Ambala, Sinagar, Chandigarh. Chandigarh. Whereas Le, they have to a... Bhutan and all those things, they are very high altitude. altitude so they have altitude problems. Hmm. So therefore, we have certain advantage. Now, whenever there will be a conflict, our response in maritime domain will dictate China's response. Because they cannot, they also realize this thing that in case if they try to indulge in any kind of a mischief in north india can unhinge them by yes. taking certain actions Blockages and that's why the relevance of uh, say maritime strength in case of india becomes very relevant and, and important more so, so is the air more so sir between if there is a collaboration between us army and uh, or us military forces and indian military forces so this will become a formidable formidable force for china sir so, in a way, sir, in a way, can I can I make a statement that now U.S. and India-China relation, uh, correction, U.S. and uh, India relation is relation of equals now because both need each other. Sir. Yes, if you see that Lemoa, Kam Kasha, both the agreement and that uh, 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 the GSO MIA uh, with ISA, correct. all these three things are mm -hmm. helping in and if you notice that is one these three agreements they help in america to and us to uh, india to collaborate second thing which is very interesting which is happening is if you notice last visit of prime minister modi to us mro facility in india yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. g414 facility in india right. mq9 facility in india 
so with all these things a kind of a, a check and caution in china us is putting yes. so therefore now it is there will be a complementarity of interest so so long this complementarity of interest remains between india and china us pentagon continue to support indian not withstanding what us state department wants sir uh, i think now we'll go ahead with questions sir uh, sir colonel jitender chauhan has written this question has sent us this question in the case of india china clashes do you think the usa will support india openly or the usa is going to support only diplomatically you know uh, jitain the, the this thing is if you see historically also in 62 when prime minister nehru wanted their air force to act us refused they neither gave aircraft nor they gave the pilots yes but they did provide all other support so to my mind let us be very very clear that in case of a conflict between india and china india will have to fight its own battles only thing us will keen continue providing you information intelligence certain material support that's it but any support of such nature will come at a cost yes. so therefore my uh, uh, sense is that india is that atmanirbhar bharat campaign needs to be gingered up and what was supposed to be done in next decade should be done in next 2 to 3 years because there are certain things for which like critical technologies like aircraft engines hmm. if you notice we are we are we are optimistically saying that g414 will come to india hmm. we are saying the saffron will give we are saying that uh, rolls royce will give but nothing has materialized so unless Absolutely. that engine comes your hmm. tejas mark 2 mk tedv nothing is going to work you got to have engine hmm. so therefore there are certain critical technologies on which we should continue working and should become in such a way because interdependence only will help us for us to support and what uh, rakesh had made a statement i totally go with this that we are become partner because america needs today india as much as india needs in technology domain they need in strategic domain so therefore mm. we have to keep creating this kind of a interdependence in terms of economics in terms of uh, uh, say diaspora support in terms of strategic support what our place can give correct then mm. only we will keep getting the support mm. open conflict they will never come and you see after all in ukraine also they have not gone yeah they have not come they, they were claiming uh, ukraine they have not gone they have gone only in middle east only once their own area when their own the three people died till that time they, they were just giving all more support and uh, uh, big uh, talk and all those things but they didn't support so I'm i i i i'll got a very interesting uh, conversation i had with the taiwanese officer sir there was an officer i asked him how confident are you about uh, usa support he says we have to presume that usa will come to our help because this is what we want to project to the world but internally we know that jo karna hai hum hi ne kar raha hai so wala material support to de dega i think he is very right sir. absolutely i i agree what that his uh, conclusion is totally bang on target Sir, we'll go ahead, sir, because there are a lot of questions, sir. Uh, we'll otherwise run out of time, sir. Have you seen drone races? If we too hold such competition regularly, it can help build a healthy pool to choose future drone pilots from. Uh, basically, he's saying that we must develop our own indigenous capability, and we must have competition amongst the uh, college students, innovators, and civil uh, uh, in the in the civil streets that drone race that is going on. Sir. no uh, uh, it, it, the, the effort in this direction has commenced idex and all are in that direction only 
and uh, uh, industry uh, drdo interface is already there uh, recently i had a discussion with the, um, someone from idsa and who said and he wanted my views that drdo is now getting opened up more for industry uh, if you notice even this interim budget uh, they have earmarked almost 1000 crores for um, research and innovations so with all this thing it will take some time and i think nep also supports this kind of a thing that innovations and so university based systems and this kind of a drone technology this is where we need to make and this mq9b we cannot say 3 billion dollars for 31 uh, uh, drones is too steep a price we got to have our own indigenous capability if if Barakter, Turkey can come out with Shahid, yeah. uh, Iran can come out. I think our uh, uh, say technological and uh, uh, scientific pool is far better than those countries. And we should do it. We should work on the direction. So Shetik Kothari's question, how do you foresee the future of this relationship? Because all I see is a marriage of convenience between us and the USA. The huge lobby over there doesn't like us. And I definitely don't trust them too. Partially, you have answered <laughs> anything you want to ask. Ritik, uh, uh, the, the, as far as uh, international relations are concerned, there are no permanent friends. Let us be honest. <gasps> Just to make a relationship work, we have to create interdependences. If if you are you if you depend on Russia, totally depend on US then you will be treated like dirt, like mm. the way they treat Pakistan, the way they treat uh, Egypt or someone. But in case if you start creating a situation where they start depending on you, and that is why this MRO agreement, um, uh, MQ-9B agreement, because they realize that the Sea Guardian, that MQ-9 Sea Guardian, which we got earlier to uh, on lease, they provided tremendous amount of information about the maritime domain. Yes. So similar things in case, in case if they realize that, and they uh, that uh, we have our own uh, say, you can say value for them. Yes. Say the against Galwan, uh, post Galwan, the way we stood up to China, they also realized that we ca they can depend on us. The technological now this Boeing thing which has come to Bangalore that research, That's why has it come? Because you have created 1,000 aircraft you want in the next 10, year, 10 to 15 years. Micron is coming to you. With this kind of a thing, it will continue to remain a marriage of convenience. If you, you will be naive in case if you say that we totally trust US. No. There is no question. After all, if you notice, our such a strong relationship with Russia also, in 62, they don't totally, they didn't go totally against China. So therefore, in 65, it was Russia which forced us to sign the Tashkent Pact Agreement. Yes. So therefore, right. these are the things in international relations. It will be very naive to think that others will support you. You got to trust your own self and you got to be strong so that yes. nobody takes you uh, lightly. Sir, we move on, sir. Next question is from Aditya. Ask, sir, recently a large chunk of land of Bhutan was gifted to China. What has been government, Indian government action regarding this problem? How and how can a nation give up land to other nation? Uh, actually, <laughs> uh, why Bhutan has given or uh, what uh, uh, under duress? It is yes. definitely a. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh, it's a kind of a diplomatic failure as far as we are concerned. If yeah. Bhutan, because that means probably Bhutan has started feeling, uh, say, scared. So now they they feel threatened by China. So in mm -hmm. case, unless we support Bhutan in a manner that Bhutan feels totally assured, it cannot happen. So therefore, we need to ensure all these states, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, they cannot, or outer Mongolia on that side, they feel 
they should have a trust in us and that that will be a, a kind of a, a diplomatic challenge for us how we do it is uh, is a is a challenge definitely for dr s j shankar to address this issue and uh, i think it's a complete comprehensive national power will have to be employed to avoid uh, all such thing sir is just a comment uh, jb jp china and bharat have three similarities in fact he has mentioned four both are non white civilization both follow religion other than abrahamic religions both are fighting islamic extremism both are fighting missionaries uh, basically what he is trying to say that there is a possibility of sort of uh, uh, coordination and uh, both countries can work together uh, quickly sir you can say then we move yeah. on to the next my question, my, my sense is what he says it's a very ideal kind of a situation yes but if you notice this ugyur problem is their own creation yes so therefore they are coming down very heavily on that but once it comes to masood azhar or uh, that um, um, uh, what is that uh, uh, hmm. uh, azhar Uh, uh, son, uh, hmm. getting him declared, they start quoting rules. So okay. therefore, as far as they are concerned, hmm. what what he says, all four things are true. But all four things do not put together, because after all, is is organ uh, is area me. There can be only one tiger. Yes. And China believes in Middle Kingdom concept, so therefore they would not like anyone to be at par with them, because India would not like to be a subservient, uh, uh, say, minion to China. Mm -hmm. So that is where the problem lies. So despite having all four things which you have mentioned, my sense is that this state of antagonism will continue between India and China. because the borders can never be resolved to my mind yes. it is something what say in ancient time there were frontiers there were no borders you borders. could go from here to there and it it was all right but it is only that when we got the legacy of british empire that tibet is a protected state with us and all those things then started and today because of the climate change because of the industrial requirement because of the water problems china is cannot displace with the city bit yeah. they cannot displace with because their food crisis is building up and that is why they want zinjiang and zinjiang yeah. when they want they want water to reach there so that is where the tarim basin is very important for them so with all these things there is no question of resolution of border and all those things yes oh, there is a very interesting uh, quote on this sir they say that china at global level it wants a bipolar world in the sense dominated by usa uh -huh. and by them also whereas in asia it wants to be unipolar that only i am the one so and usa has the other way interest he says that okay fine in the world i am the boss in asia we should have two bosses we two may bosses. have two bosses So, so that is where the conflict, conflict is all about. <laughs> this this conflict will remain, sir. Sir, last yes. question, and then we will wind up, sir. After seeing the closeness of China with Maldives and its proximity and bases in neighboring countries, is India prepared to counter two stroke two and a half front war and act like big brother with neighbor? Colonel R P Singh has asked this question, sir. Okay, it has got many uh, connotations. Some of it we address, but then I'll address them one by one. first is big brother attitude we need to shed we should yes. never say even uh, actually if you notice a banan statement by prime minister when he said that lakshadweep is a very good yeah. it was taken otherwise by maldives because one who is a small they have their own inherent fears so you have to keep on doing the way we have and the way we have brought back say uh, in yamin's time we brought back maldives 
and yes. Sri Lanka we have brought back with the we have to continue supporting people like Hasina Wajed uh, in the present hierarchy in Sri Lanka the opposition in Maldives and Nepal uh, say even Dahal could be Prachanda could be supported so with this kind of a thing you have to have firstly a strong relationship with the neighborhood based on economic engagement based on uh, uh, spiritual engagement and based on say humanitarian support that is one second is the two front war and two and a half front war you got to have internal conflict points reduced Correct. and for which we will have to have a polity where diversity remains our strength but diversity does not become our weakness and that can happen only if every minority feels that they are safe in this country. We have to find ways and means. And this Western propaganda of that religious minorities are persecuted and all needs to be debunked. And debunked, that is where a strong say, social media will have to play its role. Justice should not, as Socrates said, should not only be done, it should appear to have been done. Now, third part is that two front. Now, if China can do true front to you, it can do definitely because in collusion with Pakistan, they'll do. So you have to keep on doing diplomatically and economically, keep on squeezing Pakistan and keep creating Shoaib Chaudhrys and all those things in Pakistan, YouTubers who keep on giving the doubt in the mind of their own people and all those things. And psychological warfare, say Ayub Mirza and all those things, they are all doing their good job for India, you know, trying to create. Uh, so. One is that Pakistan remains weak. Second is that in conjunction with US, if China tries to do two front to you, you should do two front to him. And that is where the diplomatic finance is coming. That is what my sense is. I hope Sir, RP, I, I have uh, addressed the issues. Sir, I think uh, we have entirely run out of time. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the, the questions uh, which were answered by you and the new angle that has been given, uh, it was really a very, very educative thing, not only for me, I'm sure for the audience also, sir. Sir, thank you very much, sir. Your, thank you. Uh, as thank usual, you your research and your analysis has been bang on, sir. And uh, in fact, there are a few new uh, leads uh, that I have been generated in my mind. We will uh, request you <laughs> we more should, often. We should follow them <laughs> <laughs> during subsequent discussions. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, in the end, I'll request uh, our audience to please like, share and subscribe. We need your subscription. We need your support uh, for, for, for us to bring a, a quality discussion. I would also like to say that we normally don't rush with the events because this just adds to the noise that is already existing in the uh, uh, mainstream media. We take the information, chew it, analyze it, discuss it. And then only a subject is decided and then we invite uh, our guests who give their uh, views based on facts and figures. There is no speculation. There is uh, no hypothesis which is there. Even if the hypothesis is there, it is discussed threadbare and one of the conclusion is taken. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Hind, sir. <laughs>